Well, hello and welcome. Uh, we're going to have another Family History Council meeting. Uh, this is a continuation on our weekly meetings or hopefully weekly meetings that we'll have to kind of help focus our, our ward on some of the activities related to temple and family history. Um, so real quick, just like we've talked about before, uh, this last week, uh, one of the things that we had done in this council is we started to invite members of the council to attend. And, and that included the the Relief Society presidency member who was in charge of temple and family history, as well as invitation to the youth, uh, one of the youth from each of the young women's and, and young men's classes and quorums. So those invitations have gone out. Those videos were actually posted on how we're going to do those videos going or how we're going to do those meetings going forward. And that's available on YouTube. The link is right here. One thing that came up as a response to that was, are we going to be trained? Sister Alvarez had asked that, and I thought, that's an excellent question. And that's the intent and purpose of these meetings. And so while we said that we may focus on our, our, our informal meetings, maybe short and maybe only about 15 minutes long, that's enough to do some of the basics in terms of uh, basic training and taking some assignments and working on it. Uh, so we wanted to go through here and, and just review those kinds of actions that are going forward. So in terms of training, the, the basic tools of family history uh, work include those that help us to collect and store and share information about our family. The best tool available for us right now is FamilySearch.org. This is a website that's free to access. There's no cost or, or anything to, to log on to this, and so we wanted to walk through this time and one, just make sure that we're able to identify uh, uh, problems in logging on or how to create an account. Now, Family Search allows us to go through and, and has available things like vital records and access to family records or genealogies that may have been uh, recorded previously or by someone else. Also, a number of many religious records, you know, churches from hundreds of years back that have made their records available as well including some pub public documents like um, military records or census or even phone books from times in past. These all allow us to create these family um, uh, histories and ultimately allow us to take those information and, and perform the vicarious ordinances for those who wish to, wish to have them. So I wanted to go through right now and just use an example of logging on to Family Search. Family Search is, uh, is a website. It's at familysearch.org. And if you have an account, it's easy enough to just sign in. And uh, you can use an account that you've created or sign in with your church account, for example, and uh, using your username and password. Now, sometimes the biggest problem is the, are those people who have forgotten the username and password and that's generally easy to to correct by just going through and trying to remember the email address that you had um, or in the worst case scenario you might actually have to go through and, and create a new account and so if you if you don't know that you have an account or you've forgotten the account you can go and click create a free account and again for all members of the church church this is freely available it takes some basic information including the, the first and last name as it appears on your church record, uh, your date of birth, uh, your gender, and if you're a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, um, it'll ask you for your church record number. There's a couple of different places to find this. Uh, one, you may see it on the back of your temple recommend. That's maybe the quickest and easiest for some people. If you have uh, church tools, the app, um, you can go and, and log on there and find that. Um, or you can ask the ward clerk, and I think these are generally probably the quickest and easiest ways to do that. And so you can either create a free, uh, create your account or help someone else create their account. Okay, so that right there is the invitation this week uh, to, first of all, log on to your family search account and then help three other people either log on to their accounts or create new accounts for three people. They could be members of your family or other people that are in the ward uh, that may be able to um, that you may be able to help. An excellent opportunity here is to ask some of your ministering families. Uh, if if you're ministering to a sister or a family, um, 
or a, a companion to someone who is, you can ask them if they would be willing to let you help them just log on. Uh, write down the names of these people that you invited to help and were and anything about them that was able that you were able to help them or or log on or the problems that you came up with. Um, when you've done this, send an email to fhc at paldone.com. I'll get that email and we'll just keep a running list of those things that we're either able to do or some of the problems that we had. And of course, you can reach out to me and ask me if there's anything I can help you with. So that's the meeting that we had. We talked a little bit about some of the things we've done in the last week in terms of how uh, providing a video for for how our meetings will go. Uh, we've talked a little bit about training. The very first step that we can do is to make sure that we have the right tools at our disposal. Uh, FamilySearch.org is an excellent tool, and we'll be using that in, in future weeks and months uh, to log on and find out how to find people, how to collect and, and share that information, and how to confirm that uh, the accuracy of that. And then ultimately, the, our goal is to to create those submissions so that we can send names to the temple for the work if if those individuals want it to be done. Um, we're also helping other people do this. So not only are we doing this ourselves, but once we know, we go and help our, our friends and family to do the same thing. That's it. The, the meeting was quick, informal, and um, we'll try to do this again in the future. Again, if you have questions, reach out to me. Let me know. Uh, you can send an email to fhc at paldone.com, and I'll get that as well. Thank you, and have a great day.